Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, Intel isn't playing around with discrete graphics. Valve announced the Index VR platform, Navi's release time frame was confirmed, and the Razer Toaster is real? But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop, formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, so what are you waiting for? Start saving now by visiting the link in the description below. It's news time, and first up for today, Intel gave us some pretty huge news on their upcoming discrete graphics cards. In a blog post for this year's FMX conference in Germany, the company announced that their XE GPUs will support ray tracing on a hardware level. The post states, quote, I'm pleased to share today that the Intel XE architecture roadmap for data center optimized rendering includes ray tracing hardware acceleration support for the Intel rendering framework family of APIs and libraries. Now, this actually raises a couple questions, but it also gives us one big revelation. First, it obviously only mentions data center architecture, so there's no guaranteed support for gaming cards. Not only that, but it specifically uses the term roadmap, meaning we don't even know if it'll be supported in the first generation. With that said, what it does tell us is that Intel isn't goofing around. They're not coming in for yesterday's enthusiast GPUs. No, if it wasn't clear by now from the company swooping up some of the best and brightest in the graphics world, this all but solidifies it. Intel is planning to hit hard, to be competitive with the most recent of graphics technology, which likely includes ray tracing in gaming cards as well. And that has to be scary for Nvidia, who basically has the monopoly on high-end AI and data center processing, especially since Intel has the funds to win. Next up for today, Valve announced their first VR platform made by, well, Valve instead of HTC called the Valve Index. Now, I say platform because it's not just the headset, it's also Vive-style base stations for tracking and controllers, all of which aren't cheap at $999 for the set or $499 for just the headset. When it comes to specs, the Valve Index has a per eye resolution of 1440 by 1600 as well as 50% more subpixels to further eliminate the screen door effect. It also has a refresh rate of 120Hz with an experimental 144Hz refresh rate. The base stations are improved over the Vive with a wider field of view and longer range. All in all, the index is mostly an updated Vive and similar to the Vive Pro except for one thing, the controllers. According to the press release, the 87 sensors in each controller allows for gestures like gripping, pinching, and squeezing, similar to what you can do with a shake weight. Okay, jokes aside, the controllers are really sweet. The Valve Index ships in July, with pre-orders currently being accepted. Next up, AMD confirmed a couple things in their most recent earnings call, specifically a couple product launch timeframes. Specifically, specifically, Navi and Epic Rome were both confirmed by AMD to be launching in the third quarter of this year. Now, I've discussed that in the past, but it was more of a potential leak. It's now official. And while that may seem far away, I'd be surprised if we didn't at least get a glimpse of it at Computex, so we won't have to wait too long. Lastly, in what might be one of the strangest gaming company-made products of all time, Razer is officially going to begin work on the Razer Toaster. Yes, you can check again. April is over, meaning this isn't a joke. Or at least not anymore, because it was Razer who originally made an April Fool's joke in 2016 when they debuted the video for their fake up-and-coming product. Since then, fans have been begging for it to become a reality, with a Facebook page that has over 40,000 likes built for the sole purpose of demanding it. And a few days ago, Razer's CEO posted a video on the company's Facebook page, making it official. My only question is whether you can download more RAM. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited for Intel's XE graphics cards, or do you just want the toaster? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.